How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. And I realize it's been a while since we've done one of these. So um, today it's time for another segment of Tiki Bye and Vi. So I'm on my way back from a morning's birding at uh, Murrayvale, which is which is on the Nigel Delmas Road, so about 75 k's from uh, home. And um, I'm just uh, on the N3 um, between uh, Heidelberg and Johannesburg. And I stopped at the uh, petrol pot, uh, the total uh, um, or total petrol pot, as it's known here in South Africa. Um, and uh, I decided to uh, grab a pie. Um, you'd wonder, you know, with this petrol pot being the last sort of services on the N3 before we get into Johannesburg proper, why anyone would stop here. Um, because, you know, it's so close to home. But uh, there's been several occasions when either traffic gets us getting out of Johannesburg and then, you know, you two and a half hours on the road before you even get onto the N3 uh, and then you know it makes sense to stop here or you know the opposite and, and you're coming back from Durban and you get traffic between um, Harrismith and Heidelberg or even you know from the uh, um, two uh, toll roads on the N3 uh, I think it's Villiers uh, or uh, Vilcher, Vilcher toll plaza and uh, the hook and then, you know, you it almost becomes imperative that you either stop uh, here or uh, even earlier sometimes, even at the Val uh, engine one stop. So um, if you're driving in South Africa, you'll um, see that the main highways, the N1, the N3 and the N2 will have, uh, you know, different branded uh, uh, service stations that... Uh, provide uh, services on the longer journeys uh, and they um, you know uh, the engine one stop the shell ultra cities um, uh, total has the petrol pots i think bp i'm not too sure what the name of the bp ones are uh, and then you get the caltex uh, star stops um, and then i think on the n3 there's one sasol at uh, rates uh, sasol doesn't have a uh, big presence on on the uh, you know on the major highways. This uh, petrol port has a a mug and bean, but it also has a uh, I think it's called a bonjour store um, that uh, then sells you know refreshments and things like the pies. So this is a um, what they would call a garage pie, and you know garage pies are a staple in South Africa. Uh, the mug and bean pie we did and came out highly rated so um, we're going to give this uh, chicken and mushroom pie from the garage uh, shop a try so first off the pastry is not uh, very flaky or fluffy it's a bit crispy and, and hard and the pie is not the biggest pie this is the pie size um, but it's 23 bucks so, you know, not too bad in terms of pricing. So we're going to give it a shot on the taste now. So, yeah, the taste is um, not terrible. It's well seasoned. Mm, I got a bite of chicken. It's just a creamy chicken more than uh, chicken and mushroom that I'm getting. But tasty and uh, with it being, you know, almost 12 o'clock, almost lunchtime. Um, and I left home at 6. It hits the spot. The pastry is not very um, uh, thick and gener generous. So it is a bit thinner pastry. Um, you can see the filling, hopefully. So it is a bit thinner pastry. Um, and it's not very well filled all the way through. It's sort of um, all settled to this side of the pie. 
and it's very crispy because it's uh, so thin. You know, the chicken is juicy and tender and not very dry and there is a bit of a gravy in the pie. So it does redeem itself a little bit. Um, I think, uh, you know, for a garage pie um, on the N3 um, and for the price, the 23 Rand, um, I think it's it's not bad. So... I think I'll give this one uh, maybe a seven. Uh, if it was filled a little bit better, it would maybe even get a seven and a half. Possible and hits the spot, but uh, maybe you'll need two of these um, to see you through to Joburg. Okay, cool. I'll put up the uh, rankings. I think the rankings remain the same with uh, Maggie's Pie still at number one. Um, uh, but this one ranks decently. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll finish it off and then hit the road again.